Hello kids, you're welcome to today's class on quantitative. You can see the following numbers. We are going to be adding the following numbers. That is adding two digits number. You remember what I told you when we were doing addition in mathematics. When you are giving two digit number, the easiest way to get your answer is by arranging them under tens and units. And when you arrange them under tens and units, you will easily get your answer. So now, we are going to arrange this number under tens and units so we can get our answer. You write your tens and you write your units. The first number is 33. You write your 33 here. The other number is 34. That is 3 tens and 4 units. So you add. This number is 3. You count your 3. 1, 2, 3. Plus the other number 4. You count your 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So now we add them together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Our answer here is 7. Now, you go to the next number. We have 3 there. You write your 3. 1, 2, 3. Plus, the other one is also 3. You count to 3. 1, 2, 3. Now, you count everything together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Our answer here is 6. So our answer is 67. You come to this place, you write your 67. Now, we go to example 2. You also write your tens and units. Tens and units. 55, 5 tens, 5 units. The other number 41, 4 tens, 1 unit. So now, we add them together. So now, we have 5 here, you count your 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus, we have 1, the other one is 1, you will count your 1, 1, now we count everything together, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, our answer here is 6, now, the next one is 5, count your 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus, the other number is 4. Count your 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, we count everything together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, our answer here is 9. Now, we'll go to this other number. You write your things and you write your units. The first number there is 44. So, you write your 44. 4 tens and 4 units. And the other number is 6. You remember when we were doing mathematics, we said when we have one number, we write it under tens. And when we have two numbers, we put it under tens and units. So now we have just one number here, which is 6. So we are going to be placing it under units because it is just one number we we'll place it under unit so you place your six under unit and there is no under no other number for ten so uh, you can write your zero there then you put your plus so now we are going to add this number the first number here we have four you count to four one two three four plus the other number is 6. Count your 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now we count them together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10, which is 2 number. We cannot put down 2 number here because unit is supposed to be only 1. So we write that 10 in brackets. So now, this 10 here is 0 units and 1 tenth. So the 0 units, you put it here. You put the 0 there. 
and this one tense you take it up to where tense is you put the one there so now we are going to count these numbers again beginning from this one we have up there so you count your one you write your one plus the other number is four you count your four one two three four plus zero nothing so now we count this number now one two three four five so our answer here is five so now we we'll go to the last one we have 27 and 25 so now you write your tens and units again the first one 27 we write your 27 the other one 25 you write your 25 25 so we add them so now you count your seven one two three four five six seven plus you count your five one two three four five so we count this together one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve we have twelve two numbers we'll write it down here in brackets this two number here is one tens and two units which one is unit two you write your two here under units and the one tens you take it to where we have tens you write your one there so now we are going to add these numbers again beginning from this one so now we're going to count our numbers again one you write your one the other number is two Go plus two one two plus the other number is two again you write your two one two so now we are going to count this number together now we're going to count the numbers together now we'll go one two three four five so our answer here is five so meaning we have 52 here so you write your 52 here now we are going to write this answer we have in this box the first one we have 67 that is 67 the other one we have 96 so our answer here is 96 here the third one we have 50 so you write your 50 here and the last one we have 52 so we have 52 as our answer so this is how we had our number under quantitative you remember when you have two numbers add them under tens and units so carry out your assignments good luck